and welcome back to another bookish video. So for today's video, I'll be doing my 2019 bookshelf tour. But before that, I do want to say thank you to Ananaya, or is it Ananiya? I'm so sorry if I mispronounce your name, but she is the one who requested this video. And I realized, ah, oh, it has been over a year since I made my last bookshelf tour. And since I did unhaul a lot of books last year and bought a bunch of new ones, I thought it would be the perfect time to do an updated one. All right, so this is how the whole thing looks like from the top all the way to the bottom. Now I only have three books shelves with four rows each and I want to show you guys all the books that I have in the shortest time possible so I'm really gonna do my best so let's start here in the first row of the first column and this is where you're gonna find my Rick Riordan collection so first I have the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series that's the lightning thief the sea of monsters and the Titan's curse followed by the battle of the labyrinth and the last Olympian also I have the King Chronicles sorry I can't show them to you guys because they're still sealed so that's the Red Pyramid, the Throne of Fire, and the Serpent's Shadow. Right next to it is the Demigods and Magicians. This one is a crossover of the King Chronicles and the Percy Jackson series. Next, I have the Heroes of Olympus series. We have the Lost Hero, the Son of Neptune, the Mark of Athena, the House of Hades, and the Blood of Olympus. Next, we have Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. So we have the Sword of Summer, the Hammer of Thor, and the Ship of the Dead. Last for this section is the Trials of Apollo series. So that's uh, the Hidden Oracle and the Dark Prophecy. So there are three books in the series, but I have the third one as an ebook, which is The Burning Maze. All right, so now we go to the second column still in the first row. On the left side, you can find my Wonder Woman Funko Pop, which was a Valentine's gift from my husband. If you want to see my reaction while opening the present, you can go ahead and click the link up there. And you also have here a Harry Potter, I think it's called a Q Posket. I'm not really sure, but I just recently bought this and I think it's super cute. And for the books in this section, I have More Than This and A Monster Calls, both by Patrick Ness, Pax by Sarah Pennypacker, Agia and Me and Three Wonder Stories, and Wonder by RJ Palacio, See You in the Cosmos by Jack Chang, and my hardcover JK Rowling books. So that's Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Followed by, of course, my Harry Potter set. That's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Now here in column 3, row 1, you can find another Harry Potter set and a Hermione Q Posket along with a super cute mug that we got from Bacola City. There's actually an engraving that says, Families are forever. And now for the books in this section, we have my Mitch album collection. So that's Have a Little Faith, Tuesdays with Maury, The Magic Strings of Frankie Presto, The Timekeeper, The First Phone Call from Heaven, and my hardcover ones you have for One More Day, The Five People You Meet in Heaven, and The Next Person You Meet in Heaven. Up next, we have my Frederick Backman collection. We have A Man Called Uva, Bert Marie Was Here, My Grandmother Asked Me to Tell You She's Sorry. Oh my gosh, that's a long title. <laughs> and we have Bear Town. And I also have three of his other books in my tablet. And Frederick Backman is one of my favorite authors in the whole wide world and his books are just so good now we're down to the second row back in the first column so in the first half of this section you can find books about animals as you guys know I am a huge animal lover and I just cannot resist books with animal characters in them so I have Jonathan Livingston Seagull by Richard Back waking up slowly and stay by Dave Burchett chasing Augustus by Kimberly Newton Fusco Marley and me by John Grogan two copies of a street cat named Bob by James Bowen all creatures great and small by James James Harriet, One Good Dog by Susan Wilson, Life of Pi by Jan Martel, The Art of Racing in the Rain by Garth Stein, and The Curious Incident of a Dog in the Nighttime. I am super obsessed with dog books because I I love dogs. I have a dog named Lilo. And I would even include him in my video sometimes. And now for the other half of this section, I have some standalones that I really like. I have The Host by Stephanie Meyer, Ready Player One by Ernest Klein, The Martian by Andy Weir. Oh man, I hope I said that right. Room by Emma Donahue, The Light Between Oceans by M.L. Steadman, Me Before You, and The One Plus One by Jojo Moyes. And now we move on to the second row of the second column. So I have here my entire Nicholas Sparks collection. I actually have all of his books except for the latest one which is called Every Breath. And now for his books, I'm going to show them to you guys in groups of four. So we have here The Guardian, At First Sight, 
True Believer, and The Rescue. Next, we have A Bend in the Road, A Walk to Remember, The Notebook, and The Longest Ride. Also, we have The Choice, Message in a Bottle, Dear John, The Lucky One. Next, we have Nights in Rodante, The Last Song, Safe Haven, and The Best of Me. Next one, so we have See Me, 2x2, two two, 3 Weeks with My Brother, and The Wedding. Now we go to the third column still in the second row. So this one is a combination of children's books and inspirational ones. So first one I have The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis followed by the Mysterious Benedict Society series. So that's books one to three and, and that fourth one right there is I think the prequel so that's The Extraordinary Education of Nicholas Benedict. So I just read all four of these a few weeks ago. This is my husband's favorite series ever. And now we move on to the inspirational ones. We have here Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Sherwood, Flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes, One by Richard Back, and I have here three copies of The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint Exupery. The third copy right there belongs to my mother, and she's the one who introduced this precious book to me. Next, I have Ogmandino books. These are also from my mom, and I have here The Giver and Son by Lois Lowry. So, The Giver is the first book in the quartet. I have books two and three in my tablet, and Son is actually the fourth one. Okay, we're now in the third row back in the first column. So obviously this section is all YA. We have here The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, The Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins, Holding Up the Universe and All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. I also have here Rainbow Rowell's books, Attachments, Landline, El Unicorn Park, Kindred Spirits, Fangirl, and Carry On. Next, I have The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chibosky. Chibosky, I'm not sure. My Heart and Other Black Holes by Jasmine Warga. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. Sorry, these are still sealed, so I can't really show them to you guys. And lastly, I have Strange the Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. So we are now here in the third row of the second column. So this one is a combination of historical fiction some standalones, and of course, my James Patterson collection. First, we have Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis, which is one of my favorite books. The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. All the Light We Cannot See by Anthony Dower. The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger. Atonement by Ian McEwan. The Help by Catherine Stockett. Lucky and the Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. And I have here the Maximum Ride series. Unfortunately, I lack two books in the series, I couldn't really find them no matter where I go, but that's okay because I still have them in ebook. Lastly, I have here Love Stories written by James Patterson, so that's Sundays at Tiffany's, Suzanne's Diary for Nicholas, and Sam's Letters to Jennifer. Now this next section is really special because this one is dedicated to our daughter Brielle. So this is where we put all the books that we're collecting for her, and of course my husband and I are big fans of Marvel. We hope that she will learn to love Marvel also someday. And my husband really likes Final Fantasy and Gundam so yeah I let him put them there all right so we're almost done guys we are now back in the first column but this time it's gonna be the last row so in this section you can find here a bunch of textbooks that I got they're all about writing and in the middle I put here a beautiful carving of the Last Supper now as for the books in this section we have here the alchemist and the pilgrimage by Paulo Coelho the horse whisperer by Nicholas Evans the shack by William P young water for elephants by Sarah Gruen some classics that I got a few years ago we have here the Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas, Animal Farm by George Orwell, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, and The Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer. Next we have As I Lay Dying by William Faulkner, The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison, and my Richard Paul Evans collection. Now we go to the last row of the second column. First up you can find here a bunch of books about motherhood. I was just so nervous and so unprepared before we had Brielle and I just had to turn to books. Next we have Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie, The Pursuit of Happiness by Chris Gardner, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey, and Three Cups of Tea by Greg Mortensen and David Oliver Rellin. 
Next, we have here some non-fiction books that my husband loves to read. So these are mostly about business and entrepreneurship and marketing. He's really into those kind of things. Next, we have here Inside Steve's Brain by Leander Caney. So this one is basically about Steve Jobs' life. And my husband is just a big fan of his ideas. And lastly, we have here some manga that belongs to my husband. Okay, we are now down to the last row of the last column. We are almost finished, guys. Now in this section, this is where we put our scriptures and our church books. My parents brought me up in the church and I just grew up loving the scriptures so much. And lastly, here are some cookbooks that we've collected over the years. My husband's family is really into cooking and I try to learn some recipes myself, although I'm not really very good at it. But I try, guys. I really do. So that was my 2019 bookshelf tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you've seen any book in my bookshelf that you also have a copy of, and if by chance you're interested in doing a buddy read, just tell me in the comment section or send me a private message message and I would love to do a buddy read with you. So thanks again guys for watching and of course don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!